Hello everybody, today we're going to be taking a look at this Polar Lights 70 watt high pressure sodium bulb. Now this particular bulb came with a fixture, it was a Designer's Edge 70 watt high pressure sodium area light, which I have since converted to, I believe, uh, mogul based, so it's no longer medium based, because I think the medium based area lights look ridiculous with such a tiny bulb in such a big refractor. So, anyway, this is a bulb that came out of that type of a fixture. It is pretty generic. You can see all the information there. Polar lights. We have the getter here at the bottom of the bulb, the shiny stuff there that you see. Pretty simple connections to help support the arc tube. One nice thing though is that it does have a dimple at the top to help support it as well. Many um, companies like GE and Sylvania, I think Philips is the same way, they don't have the dimples on top, they just use the strength of the connector that goes to the top of the arc tube to help hold it there. So pretty basic. There's some type of a date code. 2008 would probably be about right for when I originally got the fixture. So yeah, a pretty basic generic bulb. Let's go ahead and bring over our assembly here. We'll put it in the fixture. Now the reason I have it on this plastic cover is because we don't want any of the heat, you know, getting too uh, close to the fabric here. Of course, you wouldn't want to leave this type of a um, light on this close to anything, you know, like this too long. And just for demonstration purposes here, we will be just fine. But don't do this, you know, at home. It's not exactly the safest thing to do. But anyway, let me go ahead and turn off our light here. And we'll go ahead and plug this thing in. And I'll turn on the switch as it decides to fall away. Okay, well hopefully it'll stay there. Three, two, one. There we go. Pretty spectacular starting there. Let's go ahead and let it warm up. Okay, so we're pretty much at full brightness now, and even for a cheaper version of the name brand high pressure sodium bulbs, it does the job, no problem at all. So anyway, I really do hope you enjoyed this video of this Polar Lights 70 watt medium based high pressure sodium bulb. Also please comment, rate, and subscribe, and thank you very much for watching.